What's going on everyone? Today we are talking about a brand new device that's part of a line of devices that have succeeded the original line of devices. Well, let me stop being cryptic and just tell you what I'm talking about. The Jabra Speak series of speakerphones has been upgraded, if you will, to a whole new series of devices, the Jabra Speak 2 line. And today we're taking a look at the Jabra Speak 2 75. Hold up one second, really quick disclaimer. While I am an employee at Jabra, today's video is being independently created and lives independently on my own personal YouTube channel. Now that I got that fun out of the way, let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box and take a look and do a demo of the brand new Jabra Speak To 75. First, taking a look at our packaging, we've got a sleeve on the outside of the box. We'll pull that off in just a second. We can see this as a Bluetooth technology on board is USB-C and A. That's both of them. We will talk about exactly what that looks like in a second. Certified for Microsoft Teams. This is the Teams certified version. And then a couple details on the back to call out. I want to call out the four beamforming mics. So there are four microphones and a beamforming array on this device really helps out with the outstanding call clarity. We're gonna talk a little bit about super wideband audio, pretty cool stuff. And there is a microphone quality indicator which kind of coaches you about whether or not your voice is coming through nice and strong and clear on the other side. Pulling the sleeve off. <laughs> I love the inside of the packaging here. I don't just say that because I work in marketing at Jabra. It's what's inside that counts. And <laughs> in this case, that's definitely the case right here. That's why we reduced our packaging. Uh, definitely a play on sustainability when it comes to the packaging, something that uh, Jabra has taken pride in. And uh, on the inside, we can see we got a little bit of messaging here. Life is pretty good. Of course, it's better when you register the product. You can scan that QR code, get a little bit off your next Jabra purchase. And then the little insert here directs us to download the Jabra Sound Plus app for our phone or the Jabra Direct software on our machine, laptop, computer, whatever, so that we can manage the settings of our device. Flipping the card around, we get a really quick little introduction to the device and how to use it. The controls and LEDs. We've got a play and pause music button, Microsoft Teams control button, really easy to see that with the Microsoft Teams logo, an answer call button, your Bluetooth pairing, the volume down and then volume up, your mute microphone button right in the center, You've also got an LED indicator for your battery status, an end or reject call as the call is coming in button, and then the microphone quality indicator and status LED ring. That is a ring that goes all the way around the device. Looking at that quality indicator at the bottom, we can enable this in the app. The green will indicate that we've got good quality. The red indicates not so good quality. In the case of red, that is kind of our visual cue to move closer to the Jabra Speak 275 or speak louder and clearer. And with the insert out of the way, we get right down to business. We've got a travel carrying case. Now this is like a felt like case. As I bring it up close, you can see it's, it's kind of in this uh, half circular, half flattened shape up here. We've got a band, an elastic band that is holding down the felt flap that keeps this thing closed. This little insert here tells us this is where our USB dongle should go. So we don't lose that. It doesn't get like lost in a backpack or something. And as we pull the Speak 275 out of its carrying case, we get our first glance at the device. As far as the look and feel goes, we have a premium brushed aluminum detailing surrounding the entire device on the outside. The device itself is built for durability. It is IP64 rated, meaning if you happen to accidentally bump that coffee and spill it on top and this thing gets a little splashed, you're gonna be in good condition. It's still gonna keep working just fine. There is also a newer premium fabric used to cover the speaker at the top, giving a softer aesthetic and a more premium clear sound. As for the speakers under that fabric, they are 65 millimeter speakers with super wide band audio. Now, to utilize all the different range that that super wide band gives you, you do need it to be supported on the machine that you're using and the UC client, but it is very capable of that super wideband audio so that all the different ranges of your natural voice can be heard and you have the potential of coming through sounding much clearer and truer to your natural voice. Again, from an audio perspective, there are four beam forming microphones and full duplex audio, meaning when talkover is heard on a call, that doesn't get cut off 
you hear everything said in both directions during the conversation. Flipping the device to the bottom, we've got this kind of rubber grip so that the device does not slide around on the table too much. But off to the side, right underneath that, we've got this cable. Coming around to the back, we can see we've got USB-A on here. However, the USB-A will slide right off to expose USB-C underneath. So it doesn't matter what type of connection you've got available on your PC, laptop, Mac, wherever, you'll be able to use USB on either of those without having to worry about losing either the, do either the dongle or the original cord. Once we hold down the power button, we see that LED ring light up. We see all of our different buttons across the top. They all kind of appear uh, hidden without the device being turned on, but they are illuminated once we do press the power button. We've got that answer, that hang up button. We've got our battery status indicator, our volume controls, Bluetooth. Your mute will be right here. And then of course, Microsoft Teams button is available at the top as well. To orient ourselves on the location of the buttons, we look at the Jabra logo on the front of the device. Flipping the device up, we see where all those buttons lie. And at the very top, we've got that power button to turn the device on or off. Demo time. We're gonna take a look at the Speak275 in action here. We're going to use the included USB dongle, little USB-C dongle. It's got Jabra on the, uh, on the end of it there kind of wider at the bottom. This is included with the Speak275. It's in the travel carry case and that where I showed you that little yellow insert, that was hiding in that little pouch there. So we'll plug this in on the PC. The device will recognize our Speak275 and then we'll pull up the Jabra Direct software, check out our settings, get it set up, and then do a demo of actually recording through the device so that you get a sense of the input, the microphones getting my voice into this video. Let's check it out. With that USB dongle plugged in, the PC automatically recognized the device. I've got the Jabra Direct software up on screen. And as you can see, uh, we've got an update already for the Speak 275 when it comes to firmware. So we'll get this thing updated. And once it's updated, we'll come back and check out the settings. And during the update, we've got a nice, bright, vibrant purple ring around the Speak 275 where that voice indicator is. And just like that, the Speak 275 is updated. So we will say, okay, we'll go back to devices and we see the Speak 275 along with that Link 380 right there. Uh, we're gonna go into the Speak 275 and we have a couple different things we can click on. Now, you see that we are ready for Teams. It detects Microsoft Teams on my uh, desktop. So it knows that it's, it's ready to go for Teams. That Teams button is lit up on the device itself. If we click on audio, it will bring up a music equalizer page. We're not gonna worry about that right now, but you can change things like your bass, your mid-range, your treble. Uh, we're gonna go over to our settings. And in here, you can see we've got several tabs. Now on the speakerphone, we can give it a unique name. We can say that it will auto -re uh, reconnect or not auto reconnect. If we disable it, then the list of paired devices gets cleared. Multiple Bluetooth connections are not gonna be possible. So. We're gonna keep that connected, but that's an option. Paired devices, we can view and edit that list. The audio notification type, do we want a voice or a tone there? I'm gonna leave it on voice. And then the microphone quality indicator, off by default. I'm gonna turn that on because I think that is like one of the really cool, unique features about this device that is next level compared to the previous line, the Speak 750 did not have that. Speak 275, includes this microphone quality indicator, which is supposed to give you a visual cue that you're not coming through very clear or loud or optimally on the far end. It's a little bit of a visual coach so that you have the best, most natural sounding conversation. And if you're wandering too far from the, the speakerphone itself or something else is off, you kind of get clued into what that is and you can fix the problem. So we're gonna turn that on, leave that on. We can also turn on auto reject calls. So during a call, we automatically reject incoming calls. Could be handy if that's something you want. And then the sleep mode, select a period of time before the speakerphone enters sleep mode. Eight hours, that's quite a while before the device goes into sleep mode. I'm gonna say one hour there. So if the device, if I'm not using it in an hour, then you know we'll, we'll put it to sleep. So we'll say save on that regard. I'm gonna go back into settings. We'll click on soft phone. We can uh, prioritize computer audio notifications. I'm gonna leave that turned on. 
a button configuration. So that smart button configuration, it can either be the play pause button, which it's currently set to, or a voice assistant or speed dial. If you choose speed dial, then it will, there's a number you need to configure here to obviously dial that number if you're using the speakerphone with a UC client. Or we can turn that button off altogether. But I'm going to leave it on play pause because this thing has a pretty sick speaker on it. And I have a feeling I'll be listening to music on it. So we'll leave it there. And then product information. You've got your firmware version, your part number, voice guidance language. I'm not going to change that because I will be totally lost as to what it's telling me if I do. We can disable firmware updates if we enable that. I don't see that as being a positive thing in my case. So I'm going to leave that off. And then finally, we can register the product if we want to. If you make the changes, save them. We did not, so we'll say cancel. But you can also reset the device to all of its original settings if you need to do that. Now, it's demo time. So right now, you are listening to me through the built-in microphone on the display, actually, uh, that is sitting in front of me. So you are that's the microphone. It's not this, this microphone back here or some other mic or a lapel mic like I had on earlier in the video. It's the built-in microphones on the display. We're gonna go ahead and change the audio over to the Speak275 so that you hear what my audio sounds like as it's being picked up through that four microphone beam forming array. I have changed the audio in the recording software to be recorded through none other than the Speak275. So on this device, you are hearing my voice being recorded through the microphones on board. Remember, four beam forming microphones in an array on the device, you're hearing me. Now I'm pretty close right now. I'm gonna go ahead and set this down here and scoot back away. I'm a couple feet away now as opposed to really close. Uh, this device is meant to be in a personal use scenario or a small, uh, small meeting room, huddle room. So it might be in the center of a table in those cases. It is certified for Microsoft Teams rooms in those cases as an audio peripheral. So you'll kind of get a feel for what the audio may be like for the participants in that meeting on the far end, because that's what you're hearing right now. Now, as we can see, there is a mute button at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and click that. The LED ring will go red and you will no longer hear me yapping my mouth. Once I click the mute button again, my yapper is once again heard nice and strong through that four beam forming mic array. Now for the next demo, I want you to actually get a sense of what the speaker sounds like. It's not gonna be the most perfect demo because I don't have the best setup for that. But we're gonna take this microphone over here and we're gonna tilt it right on down to where it is right above, right above our speaker. So that whatever's coming out of that speaker, you're gonna hear nice and crisp through the microphone. You're still hearing me talk through the speaker now. I'm gonna go into OBS and change the settings to where the audio you are hearing is coming through this mic, and I'm gonna play maybe a video of mine from the past through this speaker. That way you get a sense of what the speaker sounds like through this mic. All right, we've got a little bit of picture in picture magic happening. You've got me in the lower inset picture, so you still get the context of me talking if that's helpful in any kind of way. Uh, but then we've got down here the Speak to 75, and as you can see, we've got a mic pointed right above it, USB connection. Now, we are going to play a YouTube video, or at least the intro part, uh, from my YouTube channel through the speakerphone so that you can hear it as recorded by this mic, which is capturing our audio in this video right now. So let's go ahead and click play on the video, and uh, we'll check that out as it's heard through the Speak275. What's going on, everyone? Today, we're going to be unboxing the Jabra Panacast 50 room system. Lower the volume, raise the volume. There will be follow-up videos for setting up the room system, you know, all the cabling, powering it on, getting it started, and then of course using it in a Microsoft Teams rooms or... All right, so just a brief demo of these speakers themselves. You can see we've got that audio management right here on the top with our volume up, volume down. Um, but that's a little bit of what it would sound like. Again, not a true test. You're not going to get the full experience through 
this setup, but it's about the best that I could do to try to give you as true to life experience as possible of what the speakers sound like on the Speak 275. Again, remember, super wideband audio for the mics, full duplex audio, and those are 65 millimeter speakers bringing some really nice bass and some nice crisp clear audio coming through. And there you have it, the Puck, as the original Jabra Speak line had affectionately become known, has evolved into the Speak 2 line, and that is the Jabra Speak 2 75. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, throw a like on the video, share it on your social channels, and I hope we're going to see you tune it back in to the next device overview video.